Hey guys, it's late here, but I thought I should make a quick video showing you how I got OBS Studio working nicely on Arch Linux. So first things first, I'm using the latest Git version right now, and, and it works well. It really works well. The next thing is, uh, let's go to how the, I've set up OBS. So, <clears throat> The big thing here is to uncheck use buffering because when use buffering was ticked and that's by default, it was totally out of sync with my audio recording, which is on a separate condenser mic. So that's my first tip. Uh, my next tip will probably be in settings. Um, oh, I recommend you keep it simple, but use the recording format of MKV which is Matroska it actually um, has less load on the CPU as you can see well actually you can't see unfortunately let me see if I can try show that to you can I show that to you somehow can you see that my CPU load here is about 50% if I was encoding straight to MP4 it would be much much higher and when it's when it's too high, it skips it skips frames skips frames and it looks terrible, so you don't want that. So Matroska format, select that. Uh, audio is fine. Uh, okay, this is blanked out and I can't change it because I'm recording. But the base resolution was 1920 by 180, so it's 180p, and the scaled scaled resolution was something smaller make sure that you record at 180p so that's 1920 by 1080 make sure that they're both the same and your resulting output should look just fine nice and crisp i also made a couple of uh, binds so my face is like f7 so all i do is uh, switch to f7 you should see my face uh, f6 is um, my gopro Hero, uh, Hero 4 Silver, you should see my face here, um, from the GoPro, and F5 is to see the, um, uh, to see my screen, and to have a little box, well, the box will appear somewhere down here, somewhere, well, I'll, I'll be in the box, actually, it will, it will appear in the bottom right of your screen, so, basically, very easy binds here, <clears throat> F5, F6, F7, F3 to start recording, F3 again to stop recording, and I think that's it. Really, that's that's all there is, and it works really rather well. Um, so all, cred all kudos to the OBS developers for creating a, um, a quite, quite a nice sort of uh, screencasting setup now. So I'm hoping to create lots of nice screencasts for you guys.